Hello kids. Today we are going to do subject English grammar. Lesson number 6. One and many. Let us read the lesson together. Lesson number 6. One and many. One thing means singular. Many things means plural. Plural is more than one. Look at the following pictures and learn about singular and plural. An ant. Many ants. A ball. Many balls. A lock. Many locks. A bird. Many birds. An apple. Many apples. A bucket, many buckets, pen, pens, flag, flags, rabbit, rabbits, dog, dogs, boy, boys, car, cars. One noun can be changed to many by adding S at its end. So you can see a table below of singular nouns and their plurals. So let us read them aloud. Cat, cats. Dog, dogs. Egg, eggs. Fan, fans. Gun, guns. Jug, jugs, kite, kites, lamp, lamps, mat, mats, nib, nibs. Very good. Now, there are nouns that end with S, X, CH or SH. They can be changed into many by adding ES at its end. Look at the table below. Now in the below table, there are words which end with alphabet S, alphabet X, alphabet CH and SH. Let us see how to change it into plural by adding ES. Bus Buses, box, boxes, brush, brushes, branch, branches, glass, classes, glass, glasses, pass, passes, church, churches, mango, mangoes, fox, foxes, tomato, Tomatoes, watch, watches, potato, potatoes, brush, brushes. So students, you see that we are adding ES at the end of the words to make it plural. The spellings don't change, only we add ES in the end. So students, we learnt that Singular nouns can be changed into plural by adding S and ES. Very good. Let us do some exercises based on the lesson. Exercise for assessment. Tick the correct option. Which of the following means one? Mango, grapes, Potatoes. And what will be the correct answer? Yes, it is mango. The second question. Which of the following means many? Pen. Bananas. Book. And the correct answer is? Correct. Bananas. The next one. One can be changed into many by adding... R, O, S 
And the right answer is S. Very good. Write the plural of the following words. And how will you make the plural of these words? Yes, by adding S or ES. Let us do them one by one. Cow, cows. Bag, bags. Car, cars. Box, boxes. Tree, trees. House, houses. Cat, cats. Leg, legs. Ball, balls. Fan, fans. Pen, pens. Star, stars. Very good. Let us read the next question. Write the singular of the following words. And how will you make the word singular? By removing S or by removing ES. Let us do them one by one. Apples, apple. Books, book. Girls, girl. Chairs, chair. Shoes, shoe. Rats, Rat. Shirts. Shirt. Clothes. Cloth. Watches. Watch. Monkeys. Monkey. Pots. Pot. Vans. Van. Wasn't it easy? Yes. Now let us read the next question. Look at the pictures and fill in the blanks. These are and the picture here is of kites. So the answer will be kites. Very good. The next question. The grapes are green. So we will write grapes in the blank given. The next question. Dash are playing. And what is the picture given over here? Yes, it's girls. So the answer is girls. Very good. The next question. These dash are sweet. And what are these? Yes, they are mangoes. Very good. Dash are on the table. And what is there on the table? Yes, there are pencils on the table. Awesome! Now look at this beautiful picture. Let us read the question and understand what it is. How many things can you see in this picture? Write their names in the space given. So what can you see? Yes! I can see many houses, I can see many trees, I can see a boat, I can see clouds and I can also see birds flying. Awesome! So students, today we learnt about one and many and one thing means singular and many things means plural. Read and understand the lesson well. Solve the exercises given in your textbook neatly. That's all for today. See you next time.